just um, powered up the KWS horn transmitter. It's on 20 meters at the moment. Uh, tested it on CW. I'm getting about 430 watts out of it. But the um, PA voltage is lower than it should be. It's 1600 volts. And it should be 2 kilovolts. And the reason being that uh, someone's altered the taps on the high voltage transformer. So maybe 430 volts is all you can get out of it. Anyway, I've got it on SSB now. And uh, you see the um, power meter over there. So when I speak, the box trips in and uh, the um, audio comes on. So that's uh, working good. Um, try on AM. Well, on AM, I'm going to press the. Uh, this is AM modulation. You can see the, uh, the meter moving slightly as I speak into the microphone. And CW, and I uh, hit the key. That's the uh, the drive monitoring the drive there, and this is the output into a dummy load. But for some reason, the um, the directional watt meter is working in reverse. <laughs> so perhaps it's just uh, either wired wrong. Well, the, uh, the sockets on it are labelled incorrectly, I'll have to check that out. But um, there's, uh, there's no reverse uh, to the SWR. Perfect on the dummy load. So I think everything's working okay, tuned up okay, and uh, get them the right readings on the dials. Um, on CW, the uh, the idle current on the PA stage is set for 100 milliamps. Actually, it's just a little bit lower than 100 milliamps. That's easily adjusted with the uh, control and the power supply. And uh, yeah, everything seems to be working good. I will run it for a few more hours on and off over the weekend. I'll check out the, um, the ALCs working right. Check it out on each band and um, see if anything develops. And then the, uh, the final job would be trying to mount this, this uh, new blower uh, into the power supply there, which is easier said than done. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's it uh, for today. I think I've had enough of the KWS uh, one for today. Um, anyway, initial power on testing into a dummy load uh, with the high voltage connected and everything, it uh, is working well.